welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am gonna be spending 24 hours in my bathroom. Yes, you heard me right. I am bringing back the 24 hour challenges. I hear you guys and everyone was saying we want to see the old content and I was like, you know what? I really miss filming the old content and I have nothing to do tonight. I'm really, really bored. Everyone is busy. So I was like, okay, I'm going to spend 24 hours sleeping and living in my bathroom. I have done this video before. I did it about four years ago. So I'm basically just bringing back all of my old content. And I think you guys are really liking it. I've recently done like the cheapest food in the supermarket, the most expensive food in the supermarket. So let me know some other ones that you want to see or new ones that I haven't done before but yeah I am going to be spending the next 24 hours in my bathroom I'm weirdly excited because Manchester yet again is in a bit of a heat wave right now it's about 32 degrees and my apartment is honestly like an oven like I feel like I'm being cooked inside an oven I have this massive like aircon fan unit and it's just not working how it's meant to so my bathroom is like the only place that doesn't have any windows because it's all in the shade it's off my hallway it's out there just actually really cool so I feel like being in there is a weird blessing in disguise for the next day or i was gonna say a day or two no for the next day so i am gonna pack my bag i'm gonna get all my stuff taken in there and we can set up obviously i'm gonna be sleeping in the bath because i don't know why i would sleep on the floor like i might as well make a bed in the bath i also am gonna have a bath later so then i'm gonna have to take everything out but let me get all my stuff together and my food and everything and then we can begin the challenge so you guys can see my bathroom i actually rarely ever use this one i always use my ensuite but this is the main bathroom to the left you have got a big bath which I am going to turn into a bed and I've got this brown tray on here which is so handy because I can put my laptop on it and then I can technically watch laptop in bed and then I've obviously got my sink and then I've got quite a lot of floor space in here and then I have got the toilet just there I think I'm going to put everything on these shelves up here just like all my food and stuff first things first I need a power supply so I've just put in the extension lead from the living room and then just plugged it in in the hallway so I've got four plugs now because I am in fact going to bring my kettle in I don't know if I'll bring it right the way in I might leave it at the door but I'm gonna need the kettle for hot water for like pot noodles and stuff packing wise I'm just gonna take in this little duffel so so far I've got in my makeup my makeup bag is so dirty that is actually one of the tasks I'm gonna be doing whilst I'm in the bathroom is cleaning my makeup I've got my hairbrush deodorant my cellar water cotton pads majority of my toiletries are already in there because obviously I'm staying in the bathroom so a lot of them are already in the bathroom cupboard cannot forget the most important thing which is gonna be my laptop because that is gonna be my source of entertainment for the next however long and I've just come to my little book stash as well i recently bought this when i was out food shopping and i'm so excited to read it because i saw on i think it was cc clark and the rachel lewis story that molly actually wrote about me in her book she said i was one of her favorite youtubers and i was like oh my god that is fucking insane so i bought the book and i'm gonna read it so i'm gonna take this in with me okay so food wise i'm slightly unprepared with this one because i didn't go to the shop or like buy anything new so i've got my kettle in there already got a mug got some milk and i've got some tea bags and sugar to make tea with also gonna take in a box of cereal which I will get out of the cupboard in a minute so for dinner I am gonna have to allow myself like literally like three four minutes to come out and pop this in the microwave or is it the oven I can't remember but I'm gonna have to cook that otherwise I am gonna be starving but then I've got some other snacks I've got a pot noodle to have tonight I've got some chocolate I've got some dairy milk buttons a milky bar and then my favorite crisps which are these black truffle ones oh my god they're insane so I'm gonna put all of this in a bag and then take this in food bag is officially packed and going in to the bathroom I can't believe I'm actually fully moving into my bathroom right right now I've bought in my duvet and then two cushions because it's a double duvet it really does take up a lot of room in the bath so I might end up just sleeping as that as like a bottom sort of sheet and then have a blanket and then obviously as well I also bought in Nala who is just sat in the corner I'm pretty sure I've got everything in this bag that I need I mean if I forgot anything it's not the end of the world but I've got books so I've got entertainment chargers makeup toiletries can't really think of anything else I'm gonna need I'm also bringing in a hoodie just in case but I don't think I'm gonna need it because like I said it is honestly like an oven in my apartment right now bag is coming in and so is my hoodie and that is pretty much everything now in the bathroom that I am going to need. So I thought I'd try and be as smart as possible and actually take in some lunch to the bathroom like make it before I go in and then take it in because right now it's 11.45 so if I go in there for like 12 then I can finish at a good time tomorrow I'll finish at 12. I actually went to Asda this morning and I bought this big chicken you know that those warm chickens. I've got some like honey mustard sauce and a load of lettuce that I need to use up and croutons and stuff so I'm going to do that. I was really in two minds like do I order a Domino's? 
and then like keep the pizza in there and then I can have it later and I can have it tomorrow. I don't know. I really don't know what to do. I mean, potentially if Freya wants to collect the Domino's for me and bring it up later, I might be able to do that or a takeaway. We'll see. But yeah, right now I'm going to make a salad and then we can head in there and start the challenge. I'm officially in the bathroom. It is 11.56, which means I can come out at 11.56 tomorrow. Did just make myself a Caesar salad, even though it is a Caesar salad, really, but it's just a different dressing because this honey mustard dressing, chef's kiss. Mm, oh, that is unreal. The crew's are just so hard, though. I don't know why. Mm. Also bought in with me, a can of Coke. I only bought in one because it's not going to stay cold. Part of me was like, do I fill the sinker up with ice and put like the milk in it and the Coke in it? But I was like, nah, it's just not going to last. There's no point. So I'm enjoying my last can of Coke for now. So yeah, now I'm in. I don't really know what to do. But like I might make myself at home a little bit. Like set up the bed, set all the food out. Because at the moment, I'm just sat here with two bags. But I'm going to eat my food first because this is, this is unbelievable. This is currently my makeshift kitchen. And what I have realised is I forgot to bring a bowl in for my cereal. Which means I'm going to have to have my cereal out of that glass. Which is going to be really interesting in the morning. Yeah, I cannot wait for that. And this position is pretty much the position you're going to find me in for the next however long. It's really, really comfy. I don't think I'm going to have a bad night's sleep in here. I feel like I'm going to get very hot. Like, I probably should have bought in a short sleeve t-shirt because, again, I didn't do that. However, I think it's going to be quite comfy. I don't think I'm going to sleep under the duvet. But I'm being actually weirdly excited. I know it sounds so silly, but I used to love, like, when I was younger, like, having sleepovers and, like, making dens and stuff. Like, making dens was one of my favourite things. And just, like, sleeping under the dining table with, like, blankets and stuff. So, even though my bed is next door, it's kind of exciting sleeping in a different room in the house. And I'm excited to have, like, a pamper in here tonight. I bought a lighter in some candles so I can like light all the candles. Got loads of bath bombs and like face masks and stuff. So I think it's gonna be a really good night. I'm actually gonna sit and I'm gonna do some editing so then tonight I can just chill and I'm gonna watch a new series tonight if I can find it. I don't know if it's available in the UK yet, but I really want to watch Pretty Little Liars Original Sin. It's like the spin-off of the new PLL, well old PLL. It's got Bailey Madison in it and everyone is going on about it saying it's incredible. And I was watching her journey from like filming it by following her on Instagram, so I really want to watch it. If not, next Netflix has got quite a few good documentaries and films on at the moment and stuff. But yeah, I'm going to edit this reel and then get my work done and then I can just sit and chill in the bath. <laughs> Whether that's sleeping or actually getting a bath. Much later. I'm still in the bath. I've just been sat for about three hours editing a load of reels because I just don't know why. I never edited them when I filmed them. About five, oh my god, no, it's probably even longer than that actually. It was about six weeks ago. Me, Freya and Hasman on like this girls night, like a drunk bowling night. And I filmed a reel and I never edited it. So I just got around to editing that and it turned out so good. So head over to my Instagram to see that. And then I also just edited a reel of the safari trips that we did as well when we stayed in the Rhino Lodge. Did do a full video on that as well. So I'll leave a link down below. It was the city girls take the safari one and then i just did a reel as well when i was cleaning out my kitchen the other day and then also from my trip to cavos with party hard for like reels at the moment are what instagram is wanting like the algorithm has honestly turned so like I literally don't know what has happened to the algorithm pictures just don't do well on Instagram anymore so all that I'm really going to try and post at the moment is reels I'm going away next week with Haz and Byron um, and we're just going for like a content trip so all I'm going to do is shoot photos but like turn them into reels so yeah head over to my Instagram to see all the stuff that I just sat and edited however I'm now boiling it is about 4.40 so I've been editing for about 4 hours I honestly am sweating I literally haven't moved from this bath I've just been drinking that kind of coke editing drinking that kind of coke editing I'm going to have my dinner in a little while and then I'm actually going to take my makeup off and start my little pamper evening in the bath. I literally don't know what to do. I think I'm going to try and find that PLL. I haven't tried yet. I don't know where I'm going to watch it because it's on HBO, which I don't think we can get in the UK. So yeah, if not, I will watch on the Netflix series, but just wanted to update you guys on what I have been doing. Right, it is time to take my makeup off. I honestly am so happy to take this off today. I feel like it's just melting into my skin and then I am going to have a bath. I have just popped my dinner in the oven so I can eat it before I get in the bath. I'm going to have a little 
Pam and I, I just cannot wait to get makeup off. To take it off, I'm using the Garnier Micellar Water. Um, I've just been using this all the time recently, to be honest. I feel like the less I use on my skin, the better my skin actually is. Like when I start overcomplicating it with like loads of different products and stuff, my skin always breaks out. Whereas at the moment, I need to take these earrings off. They're clippings because my way is pierced, as you guys would know. But yeah, at the moment, like when I use loads of products, my skin just breaks out. But uh, my skin's pretty decent, so I want to try and keep it at this level. Um, and I just use my cellar water and then I just wash my face obviously with like water and stuff when I'm in the bath or in the sink and then I just moisturise and with the clean and clear and it's so good. I have been using Skin of Me as well which is really good actually. I've really been enjoying that but yeah just sticking to the basics really. I'm really enjoying my time in the bathroom. I've Now that I've done all my work and I can just chill and like sit and eat dinner it's so nice when I just obviously I had to go put my dinner in the oven but I had to leave the bathroom. It's so hot out there so I feel like filming this today was a blessing in disguise but yeah I'm going to get all this makeup off and then we can get into the bath. I'm going to light a load of candles and put a face mask on and stuff. Okay, this is the best angle I can get to put a face mask on with, but I'm using the Fenty Skin Cookies and Clean Detox Face Mask, and it's so good. It's kind of like, even though it's a cream consistency, it's also like a jelly consistency, and you're meant to like try and pop the beads on your face so it turns like a grey colour. Um, it's really hard to do though, so half the time I do just leave it like this, but as you can see, they're slightly popping there. Oh, and it's just so nice. You guys know I love a face mask, but my downfall is I'll pop a face mask on and then I end up leaving it on for like hours because it just feels so nice on my skin that I just completely forget to take it off like I'll sit and watch a film and then three hours later I'm sat there and I'm like Sh like that was meant to be on my face for 15 minutes and it's been on for three hours so yeah don't mind me when this is probably going to be on my face for the majority of the evening no way really i'm like very conscious of the fact i do it now i will take it off once i've eaten but yeah this is so good i've been using this quite a lot recently like it really clears my skin out because i have really bad pores like really bad deep pores i actually need to go and get that like pore vacuum thingy that people get but the only part that puts me off is like i'm actually embarrassed like what is going to come out of my pores because the amount of like fake tan and stuff that i've had on my face and just all the products that I've used and tested I don't even want to know what's going to come out but I really do need to go and get it yeah that's my little face mask so fun I'm now going to run my bath I need to eat but I'm going to run my bath first because I want it to cool down because like I said boiling in here <laughs> This smells unbelievable. It's one of the um, Asda extra special meals and it's the mac and cheese one. It was either I was gonna have this or cottage pie, but I've always had the cottage pie one. So I was like, cool, we'll switch it up tonight and we'll have the mac and cheese. It's just, it's really hot. That's so nice though. Oh my God, these are already meals are so good from um, Asda. I've just done a video actually, eating the extra special food for 24 hours and they're so nice. They are a little bit on the priority side. It's like two for seven pounds or something, but they are unbelievable. While that cools down, I'm actually gonna FaceTime my mum because she's in Ibiza at the moment. Um, she comes home tomorrow, but I wanna see how her tan's getting on because I called her earlier and she is so tanned right now. I was like, mum, I don't think you realize how brown you are. So I'm gonna call my mum. <laughs> Hi Atticus. Hi I'm in the bathroom. I'm doing 24 hours living in my bathroom. Hi, Mum. I'm on camera, but you're not. You look brown. Yeah, you're looking brown. You look really brown. <laughs> I've never seen you this tan. We were in a restaurant. I think it was probably about three or four nights ago, I think. Mm. And we got speak. We got speaking to this woman over time that lives here anyway. And she said to me, she said, God, she says, she says you've got a better colour than me and I live here. You have, because you're, you're, it's your face that like looks so tanned, which looks nice. I'm very jealous, hopefully. Yeah, my, my, my body is as well, look. <laughs> Why didn't I get this jean? Yeah, but I use, I use the high protection on them as well. Guess what I'm eating for dinner? Chinese. That's why I was eating in your bathroom, Anna, come on. I'm doing 24 hours living in my bathroom. Yeah, but, but yeah. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> mac and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> It is 11.38, so I think it is time to have my pot noodle. I have been laid in the bath watching films and a TV series the entire night, and I'm starving. I've eaten the full packet of crisps, and um, yeah, really craving this pot noodle now. It is pot noodle time. It is, I was gonna say brewing, but brewing's a bit of a weird word to use for pot noodle. It is just making, I guess. 
I don't know how many forks, all the forks were in the dishwasher, so I decided to bring in a load of spoons. I've been late watching PLL. I ended up watching about three episodes of that, and then I ended up watching some of the Vampire Diaries, because me and Freya were talking about it the other day, and I really missed watching it. If you've watched it, let me know if you're a Damon or a Stefan person down below. Oh my god, it's one of my favourite series ever. I love it. So yeah, I'm going to sit and have my pot noodle, and then I think I'm going to call it a night, because I'm shattered, and it's, I know I keep going on about it, but it's so warm, and it's like an uncomfortable heat now, like even in here which is meant to be the coldest room in the house it is boiling the bath and the pamper was so nice i loved it but yeah i'm kind of a little bit over just being in this room now i'm kind of excited to get out and i actually would like to go outside because of how hot it is love a pot noodle though i haven't had a pot noodle in so long and i'm weirdly looking forward to my breakfast because that cereal that i've got the one i'll show you in the morning oh my god do you remember when um what do you call it who is it is it kellogg she used to do those four big tubes of cereal that used to come in like a little square and you could like mix them all it was like the shells cocoa pops and the little balls that's what it was from and I haven't had it since then that was like a whole like memory childhood memory that I just unlocked but yeah I feel like I'm losing it a little bit that's really hot I love the chicken and mushroom one though my nan actually bought me this pot noodle and I had it in the cupboard thanks nan for the pot noodle so yeah I'm gonna head to bed and I'll see you guys in the morning I'm gonna set my alarm for like eight-ish and then get up watch another episode I don't know if I'm gonna put makeup on tomorrow I might just have a bit of a chill morning I did bring all of my makeup in but I just can't be bothered I kind of just wanted to sit and just do nothing whilst I'm in the bathroom. But yeah, I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning, everyone. My hair and my face look so puffy right now. I don't know why this always happens to me in the morning. I need one of those like ice roller things, but I am awake. You know what? Weirdly, I didn't actually sleep that bad. Please ignore my morning voice. My morning voice is always so croaky, but I actually weirdly slept nice. It was really, really cool in here last night. Like I didn't sleep under the duvet or anything. I just slept on top of the duvet. But I chucked one of the cushions out and I just slept with Nala. And it was so nice. I'm so tired though. I've just been sat reading. I'm on page 54 of Becoming Molly May and it is really, really good. I would highly recommend. Molly, you have smashed it. I'm now going to get some breakfast. I'm going to have my cereal, but in a glass and I was going to get ready and um, what do you call it? Put makeup on, but there's no way I'm putting makeup on right now. I cannot be bothered to do anything. I know that the minute I leave this bathroom, I'm going to be sweltering. So the last thing I want to do is walk out with the full face on. I had to sleep with the door open because of how hot it was. Let me get, so there's my glass and my cereal, but I don't know how i'm gonna do this hang on i don't really know where i'm gonna put this but yeah this is my this is my favorite cereal ever it's the kellogg's choco dragon shells and i feel like i go through a lot of favorite cereals but i swear they discontinued this for like a really long time so like i was saying yesterday the last time i had this was when it was in the tubes like the little tubes that kellogg's did when i was like <gasps> When I was a kid, oh my god, it's gone all on the duvet. Let's just put that up quickly. Right, and then the milk. I can't believe I'm about to be about to have my breakfast out of a glass, but there we go. Actually, isn't a lot of milk at all, but we're gonna go for it. And then here's my spoon. Oh my god, what am I actually doing? Mm. <gasps> no, what is going on? Do you, I don't know what to do this morning. I've lost my phone. My phone has gone for a walk. It's in the bath somewhere. My phone had the time on. I think last time I checked. Where's, where has my phone actually gone? This is the only really annoying thing. You lose things. I kept losing my phone last night. Right, I'm baffled then. Oh, it's there. Right, it's 10.22. So I think I'm going to watch another episode of The Vampire Diaries. And then we are free to leave the bathroom. Today, me and Freya are organising the rest of my apartment. So we're going to do all the bathrooms, the area and cupboard, my bedroom. I need to wash all of my sheets. We did the kitchen a couple of days ago. And it, honestly, like the kitchen looks so much better now. I will put it in like a vlog or something at some point. But yeah, and then I'm taking Freya out to dinner tonight as a little thank you for helping me. So, yeah, I'm very excited actually. Make sure you guys check out my home Instagram. I'll pop it on screen if you want to watch all the reels of us like sorting out my apartment. But yeah, I'm gonna say much vampire diaries now. I'm sorry, but are you a Damon or are you a Stefan person? Because I am really torn. I feel like I was Stefan and then I'm slightly Damon, and then I was Stefan and I'm slightly Damon. I'm on season four, episode five, but oh my god, it's so good. I have watched it already, I'm just re-watching it, but oh unbelievable. And it is now 11:28, so I've got like half an hour left until I can leave. What on earth is this? Like, just, I cannot get over the fact that this is my bathroom right now. I'm gonna start to pack everything up and I'm also gonna strip my bed sheets because I'm gonna wash my bed sheets now I've slept in the bath. But yeah, I am, uh, I'm pretty much ready to come out of here now. I can leave the bathroom any minute and I'm so beyond excited, although I am dreading the heat that I'm gonna feel once I leave this apartment. I'm so excited though to like clean and declutter. I love days like that, like days where I can just sort myself out and like declutter and my air and cupboard is in a 
state like i've never organized or had like, any organization whatsoever in my airing cupboard so i ordered some like baskets and stuff from amazon so i'm so excited to put all of those up put all of my washing tablets and like softener and everything in them and just oh my god just be just be organized so that is the end of this challenge i really hope you guys have enjoyed if you want me to do more 24 hour challenges let me know where you want me to do them obviously i could do more places in my house but i could also go to different places overnight and just different places in general so let me know what you guys want to see and other than that i will see you very soon for a brand new video Mwah. bye suddenly i'm never using that bathroom again <laughs>